when people ask me what i am it's very hard for me to say because i am an engineer mm-hmm. uh, but uh, i say that i'm an engineer by profession but uh, an artist uh, you know at heart right i did my electrical engineering uh, way back in india i'm from kerala very quickly switched to um, software and I, i was with bank of america for a long time uh, i left them a couple of years back i I retired as uh, you know senior vice president and business executive for um, enterprise architecture governance and um, global risk and compliance so right now I'm with IBM um, I'm a technology advisor in the financial services sector uh, but Carnatic music I am trained and I I um, started as uh, very early uh, on you know giving full length concerts uh in you know all the sabhas and in pal ghat and so on professionally i am actually like advising financial services industry how to implement their it and transformational kind of stuff but my passion is actually innovation and engineering that that's why i said you know i think i am an artist that's my judgment so far because that's what i do best honestly like anything art see i do better right i can sketch and i paint a little bit and i also try to apply it to some woodworking uh, you know artistic people don't know how that happens it's very hard to explain how it happens but it does does it help absolutely when it comes to innovative thinking innovative people are always like better when you have a transformational uh, opportunity right uh, then what they do would be completely different from what others do uh, creativity is mainly it right whether it is music or art you are creating something out of nothing right you don't have well systematic education about art or music sometimes pigeon holes you right you don't think out of the box so it's it's good and bad uh, you have to let the kid like think freely right give him or her the 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 environment for it and just think freely and you will be amazed what comes out of it it absolutely helps you know wherever you go uh, whatever you are i mean i talked to you about my uh, i ran a part of enterprise architecture governance which is a profession they say which is a which is a science they say but it's not really science it's art, half art and half science some people would say there is a lot of like uh, people dynamics politics involved that's true too but there is a lot of art in architecting systems too it's not like a b and c put together you know you have to apply uh, certain creativity to things that you do how you put a program together process together and all that it has helped me tremendously i don't know how to explain the how but there is a there is a fundamental difference in how artists think and and you don't have to be a born artist right if you get the exposure uh, you develop that and, and that would help you tremendously if you develop a liking for art and you know like you know dwell more into it you will see things that you haven't seen before that is i think the main uh, difference right you know a particular mural which is very huge uh, in in one of the temples uh, so he was saying that that particular mural was not really uh, drawn to the conventional proportion and he was researching why and i told him why do you ask why it's done by an artist right um every mural artist can do it to proportion but this guy must be a real artist and that's why he didn't do it to proportion he must have a reason and what i can also say as an engineer is that the reason why it is not out of uh, not to proportion mostly is because he knew about perspective because it is so large that he knows where uh, an average human's eye will be and then to make it look like the 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 other the, the mathematical proportion he has to change the proportion and so now you if you go and start measuring everything it will be all off but it's because he did it out of his 
you know, artistic eye. That's what mostly scientists don't get. If you don't break rules, uh, you're not an artist, right? Uh, there, should, there should not be any rule for an artist, any rule, in, in my opinion. Uh, you just have to have your material, whether it is a paint or, you know, like something. You can make anything out of anything. Creativity is that, right? It, it, there wasn't anything like that before and it just it's happens. Yeah. Uh, whether it is an object or a painting or even a concept, uh, uh, you know, if you do it this way, this probably would work that way, right? You know, that's... Uh, th there is a crossover between engineering and art. Uh, but most of the innovative things, the innovative thinking, creating something out of nothing is art. And designs, most of them are like very close to artistic, I think. Okay. So, you know, application of design uh, in uh, uh, organizational engineering is very, very strong. But it's not really the design of what we think about this object, but it's about like design in thinking, right, and design in the way you organize um, a, a, a company, right, how you would even design the HR processes of that company or like how people will interact. When, when Google decided to have a very open, cool work environment, that was part of a design thinking, right, a, a redesign thinking. That, that's a concept, right, and that is actually art. Right, that is artistic thinking, really. Like, again, you know, like you can apply behavioral sciences and all of those things to it, but design to you know, design in that context is that versus you know, if you think about a product design, obviously, that is very hard and fast. You can, you can easily define it, see the application, right? You know, uh, only an artist can think of like the contour should be this way, that way, you know, that's that's easy, but even abstract. Uh, you know, applications of uh, art is where I think, you know, uh, what I'm trying to say is the when it comes to organizational engineering or uh, even like transformation of a company's processes, how they do business or even how the market would behave a certain way has, uh, you know, design implications and somebody with a creative mind will always like come up with something better than the other person there's no doubt about that yeah earlier you start working with something that is like a free form like i mean let your like um, inhibitions to fail as you know we talked about uh, goes away and you know you just do your thing right you know like i mean it's okay to to, to do whatever and the result is not what is important, the, the process of doing it is important. I think that would that would give the person early on in life, you know, the child, uh, an understanding that not everything is like by the rules. Uh, it's not necessarily to teach to break the rules, but when it comes to creativity, to think out of the box, lateral thinking is extremely important, right? I mean, and, and you will not get that in a science class. Uh, you will not, and unfortunately, they cannot like say that. Look, you know, you know, H two O is composed this way. Now, well, how about uh, you know, putting three hydrogen atoms, right? You cannot say that in a science class. It's so that's you cannot, right? So you have to think differently, and I think uh, children should be exposed to doing that early on. That's what I think, and also like there are some misconceptions about art education also that um, you know art is for the sake of art performing or like creating some things to demonstrate to other people it is not uh, uh, the main thing is art is not for the sake of that final product to start with I would do do it that way right I mean not forcing them to complete it right because it's not the final product you are not going to take that final product anyway right and how it looked is it better than the other person? All that competitive stuff should go away. You should not put kids through any competitive stuff. That I always say, you know, don't make it like an artist should never compete, right? Artist should just do it for doing it, right? And that, when you put that touch of heart into it, that's when art is differentiated. Uh, you should just 
teach children to put your heart into it and don't worry about the the appreciation they get from the parents and all of that in fact my advice is more to the parents really you know not to put any pressures on the child to make something that is better than somebody else's or you know try to learn something to showcase somewhere the idea is not showcasing your talent anywhere the idea is not about getting the next prize that is a very pigeon hole thinking the main thing is for parents i would say not to expect some outcome uh, but understand that this thing actually like exposure to art is very valuable in the long run it is a, it's, it's one of those intangibles that that will make a whole lot of difference you know uh, later on but it's very hard if you want a metric out of it you know for the parent you know to see that my child went to this this school and you know he was a first and second and you know that kind of stuff uh, as long as parents don't do that i think uh, you will actually tap a lot of potential from the child in, in practically everything else which is like 90% uh, an artistic person would definitely solve things in a way that you never thought of right i think yeah so the thing is that for leadership i think it is a blend right it is it as they say you know like i mean you need to know what you're dealing with you know if it is technology or whatever you're dealing with if it is banking or if it is retail or you need to know that business and then you need to also know how to work with people processes and all of that so there is a part of operations where you need to keep the lights on and do it which is i think you don't need to be very artistic for that but i can guarantee you that exposure to that's i think what i'm trying to say you know like um you don't have to become the best painter or be, you know like i mean that should not be the objective you know for everyone to get an exposure to thinking artistically mm-hmm. thinking out of the box and thinking artistically is very important is what i would say uh, we are great mimics right there is no explanation to uh, accents uh, other than understanding that we are great mimics right if i were born in china i'm sure that i will not be speaking like this right what is the explanation there is no race color nothing in it it is just that you see something and you start mimicking and you know you become that right so that's why environment setting is very important right i mean uh, accent is not the topic but i'm saying that art artists take exposing kids into things that they have probably never thought about would bring out certain thinking and you know they say that like you, doing things with your hand actually like uh, you, you wouldn't think there is any relation with brain development with that but there is that's what ancient teachings say and that's what new educationalists have realized doing things with your hand not the result doing it yeah is and especially nowadays that children are so much dragged into computer games it's it's very that's very creative too you know to think about like a, a war field that is never there and in your head and you know the, the, that's all creative too but the doing with the hands part of it is missing there right you know so i think that's um, and it's not my opinion i have read that you know that actually develops your um, way of thinking and i think when this person is a ceo of a company or like in charge of uh, a transformational effort uh, it will help it 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 will com- you know it is not by rules that you make anything happen you do need to follow rules and that will come with maturity anyway you don't need to teach that but this thinking out of the box is always but anybody who is also like the the best engineer or the best doctor in the world can also get that like exposure to art and probably like tap um a lot more than what they would have otherwise right that's what i i think